A nip in the air as the Bengals look to get back to 500. Mike Petralia inside Paycor Stadium. Here today, the Bengals under cooler conditions than they've been accustomed to in the first five weeks of the season. Look to get back to 500 against the 3-1 and one Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks coming off a bye week, and they will certainly be rested there also on a three-game winning streak after losing their season opener at home to the L.A. Rams. Of course, that is a common opponent for the Bengals as the Bengals beat the Rams in their last game here inside Paycor Stadium way back on September 25th in that Monday night showdown. The Bengals here will look to be stopping a couple of the big weapons for Seattle, namely D.K. Metcalf on the outside. He is the big, big wide receiver, of course, six foot four. 235 pounds. The Bengals are going to have their hands full coming up with ways to at least slow him down. Do not let him get ahead of steam. Don't forget about Jackson Smith and Jigba. Of course, the former Ohio State star, he's in his rookie season. He hasn't gotten off to a very flashy start. His numbers really aren't there. He's only got a handful of catches uh, to start the season. And then again, there's Tyler Lockett. He is somebody certainly who can get loose in the secondary and wreak havoc as a veteran who's been in the league for seven years now. So uh, Seattle has a lot going for it in the passing game, and of course that's led by Geno Smith. Geno Smith has been around quite a while. He's played in all kinds of conditions for all types of systems in the National Football League. How do the Bengals contain Geno Smith on this Sunday afternoon here in Cincinnati. That'll be an interesting storyline to watch. And then the running game, Kenneth Walker the third, the second round pick in 2022 for Seattle. He is uh, certainly the lead feature back for Pete Carroll's Seattle Seahawks when you're talking offense. Defense, you really have to look at two names, Bobby Wagner, the inside linebacker, and of course, Jamal Adams. He is one of the best safeties uh, in the modern era. Certainly when you talk about ball hawking, He is just a couple of picks away from 25 for his career. That would give him, uh, make him, I should say, uh, one of six defensive backs, uh, six safeties with 25 or more interceptions. He is certainly a playmaker in the secondary. And Joe Burrow is going to have to have eyes on him at all times, maybe move him around with his eyes and see if the Bengals can't do some things to scheme away from Jamal Adams, of course, one of the best uh, defensive backs in the National Football League. In terms of the weather today, as you can see behind me, it's going to be cloudy day. We could see breaks of sun here and there. Only 57 degrees for a high at around 1 o'clock. It'll stay in the mid to upper 50s throughout the game. There is a slight chance of rain at about 2 o'clock, so around halftime or just before halftime. And the Bengals uh, certainly would like to uh, make sure that ball security is a priority uh, coming into this game. Seattle is one of the best teams in the NFL at taking the ball away. What about the Bengals offense in this game? Does T. Higgins return from a rib injury? That is expected to be a game time decision, though what I am sensing is he, uh, T. Higgins is leaning towards yes, playing in this game. He may even play, he said on Thursday, without a flak jacket, if at all possible, because a flak jacket, uh, certainly in terms of comfort, can limit the range of motion. And T. Higgins is somebody with obviously a tremendous catch radius. They would like to make T. Higgins as comfortable as possible without, of course, exposing the ribs and doing further damage. So does T. Higgins play? He's questionable coming in. I would say there's a good chance he does. Cheeto Awuzie, he's also questionable. I'd say I'd lean to him not playing, but again, we'll wait and see how he is feeling closer to the 1 p.m. kickoff. Cheeto Awuzie certainly could be useful if he's at full strength and healed from his uh, back injury of a couple of weeks ago at practice. If he is able to go, that certainly helps uh, when you talk about the aforementioned names of DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, and Jackson Smith and Jigba. Uh, would give uh, Lou Anarumo just another asset uh, in his secondary to deploy. Okay, we are ready for football here on this Sunday inside Paycor Stadium. The 3-1 Seattle Seahawks 
the two and three Cincinnati Bengals as the Bengals look to get back to 500 before next week's bye. We'll have you covered, of course, all day long on Twitter slash X at Trags, T-R-A-G-S, online, clnsmedia.com. And as always, click and subscribe for content inside the locker room, press conferences, these stand-ups after the game. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube uh, channel, youtube.com at Jungle Roar Pod. Inside Paycor Stadium, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.